Hi guys, Mary here. Today is, um, it's still Saturday the 29th, and um, I just got something in the mail. Yay. Um, there's no shopping here, so everything I have to get is online, uh, which is unfortunate because when it comes to buying crystals and cards and things, you're usually drawn to something. But So I have to go to Amazon and <laughs> um, hope for the best, but I thought it'd be fun to open this on camera and do a little review. Um, I also got this, which is Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors cards. Um, and they're not what I was expecting because they are in... Uh, I just feel like I need to study the book a little bit. They're different. There's, there's different... Um, there's the sacred ones and the guardians and the seasons and just different. It's different, so I'm not quite sure about that. I love the artwork. Um, if you didn't see the cards yet, let me show you. The artwork is by Lily Moses for Kyle Gray's deck, and it's beautiful. Look at this. Really beautiful artwork. Um, but the cards, I know he's going for a natural look, but they're a little bit, um, they're hard to shuffle because the it's that natural paper that's, there's no gloss on them. So um, I was having a little trouble shuffling them, but I guess I'll get used to them. I'll work with them a little bit and then use them more in the coming months. This um, new um, cards I got is called Whispers of Love. Um, they're new to me, so. And this is by Angela Hartfeld. So, I'm basically just trying to um, update my card decks because I have a lot, not a lot, but I have quite a few Doreen Virtue decks and she's denounced the decks, so I'm trying to get away from using them. Thought I'd try some new, new card decks. This is the book, Whispers of Love. The cards are numbered, which I like, because that, that's helpful when you're looking them up in the book. Um, I don't always read about the cards. I um, Starting out, I kind of like to, um, but then I always find that when I do intuitive readings, my, my own guidance comes through anyway. But from what I can see of these cards, they're quite beautiful. This is called Have Faith. Oh, I love the butterflies. Look how pretty. Have faith. <laughs> Trust your faith in this situation. So, how many cards are in here? Looks like 68 cards in this deck. So let's see how they shuffle. I'm all about the shuffling. These, similarly to the ones from Kyle Gray, um, they're not real shiny, so I don't know how they're going to shuffle. Let's just see. And then I'll do a little, pick a little card and do a reading. Mm. They're, they're huge for my hands. <laughs> I have little hands. Oh, I like these. All right, these are already, these are shuffling a little bit better than the Kyle Gray ones. A little bit better. I have to get used to the decks. Kind of big. Yeah, they feel, I don't know. All right. It takes me a while to get to resonate with a deck of cards. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Demonstrate love. Oh, I need my glasses.
pretty. I'm going to pick another one. Oops. I was just on Facebook, which was a mistake. <laughs> I don't go on it often, but because I live on this little island, sometimes it's the only way to connect with people, my family, friends, who I don't live around anymore. <clears throat> and also for like the restaurant owners and things around on the island. It's kind of how we get messages and stuff to each other. Um, and this time of year, a lot of people are going away. It's the low season. They're closing, and you just like to know, you know, who's open, what the hours are. But I saw some stuff very polarizing. Man, this country is so polarized right now. And it's like, I know why. I see the big picture, but it's still really hard because um, I just don't agree with all my friends. And uh, you think you know somebody and hmm, you really don't. You don't know everything about them. Not that there's anything wrong with having your opinion that's different than mine. It's just hard for me to understand it. And uh, I really have to take a good hard look at myself what I'm mirroring. <laughs> what is it in me that is being so triggered by someone who doesn't agree with me, right? Um, honesty is essential. So you can see someone wearing a mask. Um, so that's about like hiding who you truly are. And then the moon secrets coming out. Looks like they're at a masquerade party and it says to be a loving person it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner number 38 well let's look this one up 38 love the numbers some of the card decks are not in alphabetical order and they're not numbered so it's kind of hard to find um, but this um, says love seeks to do what is best for another person speak honestly tell the truth about your emotions use this as an opportunity to clear the air and turn this into a positive outcome i like that very nice and i'll read this one demonstrate love number 48 Sometimes people give clues about what is important to them. It could be listening when they have a lot to say, taking a walk, helping with chores, or planning to go on a vacation. Pay attention to what others are telling us can help. Paying, oh, pay attention to what others are telling us can help us understand how to love them better. Ah, oh, yes, paying attention, being aware. Hmm. Okay. It takes me a while to get used to card decks. Um, I have to work with them for a little while. Oh, the artwork on this is Josephine Wall. Josephine Wall. Okay. I think I'm going to pick another card from this Kyle Gray deck. Still not... on the shuffling of this deck. I miss um, some of, well, I really liked Doreen Virtue's decks. Um, I'm sad about her denouncing them. But she's on her own path and I'm not, I'm not here to judge her. Um, the card that came out is Oracle. Wait for important information. You know, um, one thing I've learned 
from meditating um, and asking for guidance is um, is the part about listening. Um, I have lots of questions and I ask for guidance all the time. It's the, it's the sitting and waiting <laughs> for the answer that's hard, right? Um, that can be difficult, but uh, it's important to wait for the answer. It's important to just sit and listen. And I'm an Aries, not so patient, um, so waiting for an answer can be difficult for me, but uh, it's important to sit and, and listen. So, um, and sometimes the answer isn't what you expect, right? Um, when we ask for something, we usually have an idea of how we want it to be answered. And then the universe will answer us in a way that we weren't expecting. And it can be like, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted it to happen this way. Um, but you have to trust that the universe knows a lot more than we do, right? They have our highest. Um, our highest good in mind. So um, you have to just trust, right? You have to trust that um, the universe or your higher self knows best. Your higher self has that bird's eye view because, you know, there's no such thing as um, where our higher self is, is in, um, it's on a plane of existence that, um, it's not linear time, so they can, um, your higher self has a bird's eye view of, of, um, of your life or your many lives. So um, your higher self is always trying to guide you back to where you want it to be for balance and growth, spiritual growth and expansion. So um, knowing when to ask is important, but knowing when to listen even more important and not so easy for me 